Welcome to CSEC Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com or you may find us on YouTube at CSEC Biology TCP. You may send us a mail at extremesolutionsja at gmail.com. This is the much anticipated broad topic for 2022, the release of 2.0. For 2022 May June CSEC and CAPE examination. It's interesting to note that the information in this release supersedes the previous release, which was, of course, uh, all details from the release of 1.0. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. It's important to note that here, all details from release 1.0 are included in the release of 2.0. Oh, so it means that if you were looking at 1.0, you can forego that and now look at 2.0 as 2.0 would have contained all the release, including the first release and this release. So this release promises to carry all the subjects for CXC and CAPE and of course will be presenting the broad topics as were promised by CXC. The Caribbean Examination Council CSEC in response to the need of its stakeholder has provided the following main areas of study to be used as a guide in preparing for the paper 2 and of course the alternative to practical examination scheduled for May June 2022. However, comprehensive knowledge of the syllabus is critical in preparation for CXC examinations. As a result, the multiple choice paper will continue to assess the entire syllabus. So while we're doing the paper two, and here you have the, uh, the broad topics uh, being presented, and like I said, broad topics, it means that it's just more than you're gonna be seeing on the paper. It's very important for you to use the syllabus to assist you with interpreting the broad topic. So the entire syllabus will be tested on paper number one, but the broad topics will be tested on the alternative to practical paper and, of course, the paper two. Interesting to note here is that the paper two will be contributing 60% of the final mark. The SBA and, of course, the alternative to practical, whichever one you did, will be contributing 20% and the multiple choice will be contributing another 20%. So that means it's not sleep time as yet. Sleep time comes up on the last day of the examination. We are going to be sleeping, resting until the results are out. And we have enough energy and time to celebrate the passes in the various subjects that you would have done. So the main areas of focus for May-June 2022 examination for the Paper 2 and Paper 3, which is the alternative to practical, are here in this document. So first we have in alphabetical order, Additional Mathematics, Paper 2, and there is of course a alternative to practical for this paper. It's very important for you to pause this video wherever you find the need to do so. We're going to be going through it not as slow as we would have so we strongly encourage persons to pause the video so as to capture a content that is pertinent to you now this uh, broad topic or the broad topics proved last year to be very beneficial to a lot of students i know that for mathematics a whole lot of persons complained about the exam versus the broad topic but i want to encourage us and remind us that the broad topic means broad topic so it means therefore that you'll have to look at the syllabus at what should be covered under the broad topic do not take it as gospel that what you're seeing right in front of you that's what it's going to be it's going to be a little more than that and of course the syllabus is of course going to be providing that adequate guide so as to make sure that you ace the examination i'm hearing a lot of persons saying Hoo -hoo, the broad topics are here and of course like you as a teacher i am saying that as well because it gives me a, a little better area to prepare for those 60 percent or the 60 percent 
that is needed for the paper too. Now, just to remind us, Mr. Wilson will be having this Sunday morning at 9, starting at 9 a.m., the crash course on the broad topic for biology and human and social biology. I am going to be doing some videos that are only going to be available on the paid platform and of course to the persons who are part of this uh, crash course broad topic camp. So persons are looking at this. The first thing person said to me yesterday when they looked at the biology is that it seems the exam is going to be very easy this year. What I can tell you last year, I think we had 10 points to look at uh, for paper two and we had, I think three points for paper three this year we have five points for paper three which could have been uh, around to probably about three because if we were supposed to look at parts and function of a flower and we're supposed to look at fruit and seed formation and we're supposed to look at seed dispersal all that could be pretty much condensed to one and then if we were supposed to look at nutrition and balanced diet that also could be one so that would have been two and then we're going to be looking at population uh, and growth and continuity all that would of course be one for paper three but it's going to be nice more so that we are ready and prepared we are studying you must have seen by now my broad broad topic uh, study guide I would have released a study tip you need to visit my channel at CSET Biology TCP to make sure you grab a hold of that now there are eight topics here for us to look at for the biology paper two growth in plants versus growth in animal nice thing there and I would look at gnostic movement as well and look at movement on a whole as it were for uh, plants and of course animals then we're going to be looking at germination we're going to be looking at nutrition and if you observe here, germination and nutrition would nicely complement that which we are doing in paper three. Then we have photosynthesis. They are a very big topic here. And we're seeing plant cell versus animal cell. And look at everything on cell, including organelles. And then we are going to be having osmosis. Why would I want to look at osmosis and not look at diffusion and active transport? For osmosis, there we want to make sure that we understand hypertonic, isotonic, turgid. Uh, placid and of course uh, did I say isotonic I'm, I'm sure that we need to look at those now cell specialization make sure that you look at syllabus for those cells that you should know for cell specialization cell specialization or one might say cell differentiation we want to make sure that that is adequately captured as will be captured in my broad topic crash course at this Sunday morning at 9 a.m. EST. If you want to be a part of this crash course and also my marathon, you can pretty much WhatsApp me at 1876-219-5191 and you'll find that in the ads at the end of this video or somewhere in this video. We're also going to be looking at the effect of climate change on, of course, conservation of the environment. This is coming from section A of your syllabus. Wouldn't this? This is of course going to be awesome for those persons who don't know. It's this. This is of course section A of the syllabus. Then we are going to be having blood components. Of course, we want to look at circulation in animals. Then we want to look at sickle cell anemia, uh, which is a recessive condition, and of course, genetic diagram. I am going to be going through all the genetic diagrams for the exam so that persons are able to master it when it comes up in the exam. Usually, it, it values six marks, but there is a little error there that students continue to propagate, and we are correcting that at the TCP Academy. So I really want persons to just WhatsApp me uh, to be a part of that class. It's going to be a real a Caribbean class. I am anticipating that many a persons would have called so far. Now, menstrual cycle, uh, you want to look at the female reproductive tract here. You want to look at birth control and, of course, STI. So, a very nice lineup here for biology. Remember, you can contact us here at TCP by dialing 1-876-219-5191. To be a part of our crash course for the broad topics starting this Sunday morning at 9 a.m. EST. I'm going to be just taking a little break now so you can pause the video whenever you so think you should 
until we get to human and social biology i might say another thing or two so we have chemistry coming up next and then we are going to be seeing economics please do not go to the examination without contacting your teacher on the broad topics to make sure you have a clear understanding as to how you should prepare for the examination electronic document preparation and management english a comes up next and both exams they will have of course the alternative to practical paper english b continues here and of course we said that uh, there is a practical paper however for family resource and management there is no alternative to practical and we move on to food nutrition and health and of course again there is no alternative to practical but there is indeed a paper for paper two and here we have some results um, Anna is in the background they're making a little nice just putting his support and wishing you all the best for the exam he usually does this he really really likes to be that online teacher so if you hear that child voice in the background is of course Anna is saying all the best to you on your exams and really you don't want to let down Anna. so French is there and French is without the alternative to practical and we continue to move through this paper very very quickly so that you can get to your broad topics and of course celebrate them with your teacher and friends for the first time human and social biology is having a sba so comes up for you coming up for human and social biology we're going to be having the alternative to practical for the alternative to practical we're going to be having a big paper nutrition and of course uh graph skills for that exam you want to check out my youtube channel to look at what the alternative to practical paper looks like for human and social biology now what are the topics we have seven topics to cover for human and social biology these are the seven broad topics we're going to be looking at types of cells our uh, structure and function we want to look at sexually transmitted disease we're going to be looking at photosynthesis and the carbon cycle we are also going to be looking at the reproductive system to include both male and female reproductive system we're going to be looking at disease and their impact on human also we're going to be looking at pollution and its effect on the environment and the community and of course we could not go anywhere without looking at the nervous system and looking at the dendrites there and the axion and of course we want to look at all those various reflex art and i would also throw in a little bit on the eyes in the nervous system uh, because we're talking about sensitivity and coordination there i'll put a little skin in that as well i wouldn't go without going to that exam without skin being covered so the nervous system there big topic a lot to be covered remember to look at the syllabus and we're going to be going through faster now speeding up the pace please be reminded you can stop the video wherever you consider being right for you mathematics coming up I want to talk about that last year a lot of persons failed mathematics uh, and I think the assessment was that the SBAs were not properly done so we want to make sure that that is all sorted out because CXC did extend the time for SBA and also gave to the student an opportunity to differ on the exam this year again what I'm saying to all my students do not differ on the exam no one knows what next year will bring just do what is in front of you now and move right along we're doing nicely with the paper we're at physics now so physics having a paper too and of course alternative to practical there you know you want to do some graph work and of course analysis of data and we're seeing some of that for human and social biology as well that would have been presentation of data on the SBA you want to make sure that you look at that Portuguese comes up without an alternative to practical so you want to make sure that you are paying attention principles of account it has an alternative to practical and of course paper two broad topics are very nicely as well principles of business just the same and we're moving right along very fast remember you can stop the video wherever you consider to be 
are, right? Now, religious education is here, and that comes up without an alternative to practical. You're seeing there, it is a very big or long, broad topic. I don't know much about this examination, but I'm sure the students and they can tell you how to be. Now we're moving on so many different uh, subheadings there. I'm not too sure if students will be doing all. Our students are going to be just selecting for any option. Now, social studies comes up, uh, and I continue to be a naughty boy every now and then. Is in the background they're making a lot of noise banging on the door banging on the door now social studies section a and we're seeing section b there and it has an alternative to practical so you want to make sure that you are prepared for that spanish comes up next and we're seeing spanish uh it too does not have an alternative to practical so persons would have mastered that already the Technical drawing comes up and like all the subject we made mention of without alternative to practical, this pretty much joined the list of subjects without alternative. Now clothing, textile and fashion comes up next and that does not have an alternative to practical. We move on to theater arts, it's a practical assessment and we are seeing uh, alternative practical there visual arts that big exam that would have started uh, long before the 23rd that comes up there and we move on now to the cape unit but we want to pause here to just remind you that you should of course use your textbook to do the final preparation and of course you want to join us this sunday morning at tcp academy where we're going to be having a crash course on the broad topics for biology and human and social biology. It is of course a paid course, so you want to WhatsApp me at 1-876-219-5191. Thanks much for watching and look at what comes up in the ads right after this. Last year, many students differed on their CXE exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Get help with CSET Biology SBA Labs and Human and Social Biology SBA Labs at tcp-academy.com. Tim had questions. He wanted to know where he could get help with his SBA Labs. His parents searched but could not find that experience. Tim also made some calls however could not find the help he needed. Tim needed an experience he could trust to help him get over the hurdle of SBAs as success was in sight. He met the guides from tcp-academy.teachable.com and they designed a program to help him. tcp-academy.teachable.com was able to help him. So too, they can help you. Sign up tcp-academy.teachable.com for help with your SBAs in biology and human and social biology.